A Fisher test analysis examines the significance of associated variables. This tutorial covers how to create a table with Fisher test without binning variables and with binning variables. To create a table with Fisher test, first open Transmart and click the Dataset Explorer tab in the top menu. Open the Public Studies folder to see what data you have to work with. For this example, we will be using the Breast Cancer Study by Sorley. I will drag the entire Sorley dataset folder into subset 1. This allows me to use all of the samples in the Sorley folder as I proceed with my analysis. In your own analysis, you can choose to use only a subset of samples so for example, you could expand the Sorley folder and expand the sample factors folder and only drag in a folder such as TNM category and another folder of interest. But for now, let's go back to dragging the entire Sorley folder into subset one. Make sure you don't put any information into subset two. Placing information into subset 2 will prevent a table with Fisher test from running. Now click the Advanced Workflow tab. Click the Analysis button and select Table with Fisher test from the drop down. The variable selection page appears. We need to define the independent variable and dependent variable for the analysis. There are a couple things to keep in mind when selecting variables here for the table with Fisher test. A table with Fisher test requires both the independent and dependent variable to use categorical data. So back under the Breast Cancer Study by Sorley folder, expand the TNM category folder and Tumor Stages folder. We see data nodes with ABC listed to its left. This is categorical data. In this portion of the tutorial, we are not going to be using binning, which would allow a workaround so that we could use continuous data for the analysis. Since we aren't using binning here, we'll stick to only using categorical data. Go up to the Endpoints folder and expand the General Clinical State Finding folder. Drag the Alive folder and Dead folder into the Independent Variable box. The data nodes that were directly under these folders appear in the box, so we actually have four data nodes acting as our variables in the independent variable box. It's important to have at least two variables placed into both the independent and dependent variable boxes when using categorical data, or else your analysis will not run. For the dependent variable, go back to the study tree and drag the entire tumor stages folder into the dependent variable box. And we have five data nodes included there. Scroll down and click the Run button, and your analysis will appear below. The first table is populated with each category's members. The second table shows the chi-squared distribution values. Click the link at the bottom of the page to download the raw R data. Click the Save to PDF button in the top right to save your analysis. Continue watching to see how to create a table with Fisher test using binning. Now let's try using binning for a table with Fisher test. I am still in the Dataset Explorer tab and in the Comparison tab. From my previous analysis, I still have the Breast Cancer Study by Sorley dropped into subset 1. I want to keep this as is so I will be able to use the samples from the study going forward with the analysis. Click the Advanced Workflow tab, and we see that the contents from my previous analysis are still on the page. To refresh this and start a new analysis, click the Analysis button and select Table with Fisher Test from the dropdown. A pop-up appears warning me that I'll lose my last analysis if I navigate away from it. I don't want to save my last analysis, so I will click OK. We see that the page has been refreshed, and we can now define our new independent and dependent variables for the analysis. In Transmart, a table with Fisher test usually requires that we use only categorical data for both our independent and dependent variables. Categorical data 
is text data marked by little ABCs in the study tree next to the data nodes. Binning will allow us to get around this requirement and use continuous data as one of our variables. Continuous data in Transmart is numerical data marked by a 1, 2, 3 to the left of the data node. Let's choose to keep using categorical data for the independent variable in this analysis. Underneath the breast cancer study by Sorley, there is a folder called TNM category, and once expanded, there's a folder called tumor stages. Drag the entire tumor stages folder into the independent variable box. All of the data nodes from under tumor stages appear in the independent variable box. Since this is categorical data, we still need two or more variables to be in this box. We have five, so we're fine here. For the dependent variable, let's use continuous data. Back in the study tree, under the breast cancer study by Surly and sample factors folders, expand the endpoints folder and you will see survival time in months. Drag this data into the dependent variable box. Since we are using continuous data for the dependent variable box, we can only have one variable dragged into it. We can only have survival time in months. We couldn't drag any more data into the box here. Now we've reached the binning process. At the bottom of the page, next to binning, click the Enable button. And options will appear below. We are going to want to work with the dependent variable, since that is the one where we are using continuous data instead of the usually required categorical data. So check the bin the dependent variable box. And next to variable type, make sure continuous is selected from the dropdown. We can leave the default number 2 next to number of bins. And under bin assignments, we can leave it as evenly distribute population. We don't need to check the manual binning box. Now click the Run button. The analysis appears below. The first table is populated with each category's members, and the second table shows the chi-squared distribution values. Click the link at the bottom of the page to download the raw R data, and click the Save to PDF button to save your analysis. This concludes the tutorial.